the call is echoing and growing together with 302 eminent citizens coming together in chorus and voicing their opinion rebuted to the BBC documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Well, I'm now joined by Ashok Sajjanhar, the former diplomat and one of the signatories. The very first reaction and your need for this very particular rebuttal. Basically, it is uh, to underline and emphasize uh, the uh, angst and uh, the anger uh, that all of us experienced when we heard about this uh, uh, documentary and uh, uh, you know the all the uh, mischief and the slander and the uh, denigration that it has attempted to uh, as far as uh, Prime Minister Modi is concerned. The documentary is uh, selective in uh, whatever it says, it is selective in what it uh, 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 avoids to mention. So I think there were a whole lot of problems as far as this uh, documentary is concerned and uh, normally BBC enjoys a reasonably decent reputation and uh, so it was thought that uh, lest uh, people uh, misunderstand silence as acquiescence that we need to come out and we need to come out uh, strongly and openly and uh, convey our uh, strong opposition to all that is uh, contained in this uh, and also question the rationale, the reason as to why uh, BBC has come out uh, with this whole issue at this particular stage. This uh, documentary has an agenda because uh, you know neither does it mention you know says uh, that the whole uh, riot started with the killing of uh, 59 uh, people in the in the train it doesn't mention that uh, uh, the people who were killed were hindus it was uh, carried out by muslims uh, this is a very important fact uh, which uh, resulted in the riots this is not mentioned there uh, you know the bbc claims that it has done rigorous research now its rigorous research doesn't go into this as to what was the cause, what was the reason as to why the riot started. There is not an iota of factual accuracy or evidence. So much so that this uh, documentary, uh, the perpetrated documentary doesn't even mention the uh, Supreme Court judgment of last year. The fact that the Supreme Court in uh, 2012, you know, when the opposition, when the UPA was in power, that they had set up a special investigation team and uh, the Supreme Court has exonerated the Prime Minister of all such charges. I now, as far as the objectives, you know, it does appear that it is uh, a motivated agenda, again, to malign the image of uh, the Prime Minister as also of India, because uh, I think, uh, you know, the BBC is one of the elements of these anti-Indian uh, lobbies. There are so many of them in uh, the United Kingdom and BBC is a very important part of that. But I think through this documentary, the BBC has uh, done great disservice to itself. I think its credibility as it is was uh, being questioned as viewership as it is has been uh, coming down. And I think this documentary will significantly uh, have an adverse impact on its credibility and also on its viewership. Now, in terms of the reasons, the motivations as to why it seems to have come out in this, I think it is because uh, India has been doing so well, I think in all areas where uh, most of the other countries have been floundering, have been failing, have uh, not been able to uh, uh, come out, uh, meet the expectations of the people, whether it is in terms of dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, it is in terms of uh, the economic impact. India has been able to supply uh, more than 800 million people of uh, uh, India with uh, foodstuffs uh, with, uh, during this last uh, three years. Uh, as far as our economy is concerned, it is doing very well. We have seen uh, relatively well, let me put it this way, as compared to most of the other economies in the world. Where India is uh, the only ray of hope uh, as far as the global economy is concerned. It is the fastest growing major economy in uh, uh, the world today. And uh, even as far as the Russia-Ukraine conflict is concerned, I think India has taken a very principled stand. Maybe this is something that uh, the BBC is, uh, uh, is, uh, it is uh, uh, not uh, uh, agreeable. And that is why uh, it is using uh, 
this particular uh, documentary to uh, hit back to strike at uh, India's leadership, India's image in the world. Uh, India is uh, today the presidency of the G20. Uh, India goes through its uh, large number of state elections this year and the general elections. So maybe it has uh, these uh, grandeurs of uh, imperial uh, delusion that uh, it will be in some way able to affect uh, adversely impact upon the image of the Prime Minister, image of India in the world. But I think it should re realize that whenever these uh, foreign agencies, foreign forces have come out in this manner, they have only gone to further enhance the support for the Prime Minister and enhance the prestige and uh, the image of uh, India, both uh, uh, domestically as well as uh, globally. How do you look at the mention of uh, Jack Straw, the former UK Secretary? Let me put it this way. What locus standi does Jack, uh, does Jack Straw have? You know, if he said that he sent uh, some of the diplomats to uh, undertake an investigation or an inquiry, I think it was uh, going much beyond the diplomatic uh, responsibilities of uh, the officials who are posted in the UK High Commission. And I think we should question them because uh, this is uh, in, uh, uh, tantamount to interfering in the internal affairs of the country. You know, he can come to any conclusion, like the opponents of Prime Minister Modi can come to any conclusion, but it does not hold any validity. It has no evidence. In fact, the uh, Supreme Court itself in its judgment has said that there is much uh, fraudulent uh, evidence, fraud, fake evidence that has uh, sought to be created by the opponents of Prime Minister Modi and which has sought to be presented as uh, uh, facts, but uh, they are not facts at all. They are trying to manufacture some uh, evidence against the Prime Minister. I think uh, Jack Straw is really motivated by uh, electoral uh, compulsions because in his uh, constituency, there are about 35% uh, uh, Muslims. Uh, there is a very uh, less than 1%, less than half a percent of Hindus in his constituency. So basically it was uh, to, uh, uh, to appease uh, them or to reach out to them. And uh, it is not uh, that he has any uh, soft corner as far as Muslims are concerned because he is uh, known to have, uh, along with uh, Tony Blair in uh, the uh, early parts of uh, 2000, he had uh, very vociferously spoken in favor of uh, the attack on Iraq for uh, having uh, the weapons of mass destruction. Although even then it was known that Iraq does not did not possess any WMDs, but it was Jack Straw and uh, who uh, uh, along with Tony Blair sided with uh, the United States to carry out the attack on Iraq and we know with what results how many thousands of uh, Iraqis who are Muslims they were killed in that. So do you feel the second reason is also of uh, UK Prime Minister Mr. Rishi Sunak because uh, he also somewhere tries and uh, portrays a bit of uh, his roots from India and also somewhere wearing Hindu as a mon sleeves. Yeah, that, that could be it also, you know, it could be uh, also an attempt to bring him, pull him down also a peg or two. Although I would have uh, expected that, uh, you know, when the question was asked to uh, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak uh, by one of uh, the uh, members of uh, parliament in uh, the United Kingdom that the support uh, would have been more vigorous and more uh, robust. Uh, for the Prime Minister, for Prime Minister Modi and uh, the trashing of uh, this particular do documentary would have been uh, uh, stronger. Definitely, he uh, could have and should have spoken uh, much more uh, strongly in terms of the vibrancy of the India-UK relations as they exist today and how we plan to take it forward. Because uh, this uh, documentary, the so-called documentary by BBC has uh, the huge uh, uh, possibility of uh, also spoiling the relations between the two countries because uh, as BBC has said, this report has been provided to it by the British Foreign Office. That means uh, British, uh, the British Foreign Office 
is also a party to this uh, documentary coming out. And uh, it also seeks to uh, create the uh, communal divide in India. We are having uh, excellent uh, relations between different communities, not only Hindus and Muslims in India, but uh, between uh, all other communities. And uh, this is the attempt by BBC by raking up this issue, which has been settled and put behind us. Uh, all Indians, Hindus, Muslims and all the others, it has been put behind us. We want to look forward, we want to move forward. But by bringing up this issue in uh, full glare and full view, it again uh, seeks to uh, uh, to have the uh, bring up the communal divide. I think the same uh, what was the imperial uh, mentality, the colonial mentality mindset of uh, the British of divide and rule. So this uh, seems to be getting practiced by the BBC now, and that is uh, most uh, reprehensible and uh, should be uh, condemned in uh, uh, no uncertain terms. Do you also? Uh, some demand probe? Yeah, I think so that, uh, uh, you know, uh, everyone needs to come out clean on this, uh, both in terms of, you know, what are the instructions that uh, the, uh, the UK government and Jack Straw particularly in 2002 had given to his uh, uh, officers here and uh, what are the sort of uh, investigations uh, that they carried out, what are the sort of inquiries, the probe that they carried out because it was uh, definitely what they did, uh, if they did that, was illegal. And uh, also right now as to how has this report uh, come into the possession of uh, the BBC because after all there is an official secrets act that is uh, uh, applicable on all uh, such uh, communications. So how has it found its way to the BBC after 20 years and at this particular juncture, oh. I think definitely some sort of an investigation, some sort of uh, inquiry needs to be conducted into that also. So that was uh, uh, Ashok Sajinhar uh, sharing his uh, thoughts and the way why everyone is echoing and in chorus are coming together to raise their voice against this particular BBC documentary, terming it a complete motivated agenda against Prime Minister Narendra Modi.